Once Upon a Time, Writing Your Own Fairy Tale, by Nancy Lowen, illustrated by Christopher Lyles. A goose lays golden eggs. A frog turns into a prince. A magic beanstalk grows high into the clouds, where a giant lives. What kinds of stories are these? Fairy tales, of course. Fairy tales are very old stories with magical characters. Every culture has its own fairy tales. When the stories formed, few people could read or write. The tales were spoken out loud. Let's take a close look at the story, Little Red Riding Hood. You'll see how the right tools can help you write your own fairy tale. Once upon a time, in a woods far away, lived a little girl. She owned a red cloak with a hood. She wore it all the time. Everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. Tool 1. The setting is the time and place of a story. In fairy tales, the setting is made up. The stories happen in the distant past. The place might be an imaginary forest, village, or castle. No real time or place is described. The setting of Little Red Riding Hood is a faraway forest long ago. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother gave her a basket. Here are some cakes and breads, her mother told her. Take them to your grandmother, she is ill. The treats will give her strength. Tool two, the characters are the people or creatures in the story. The main character is the one who appears most often in the story. In this fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood is the main character. Tool three, the plot is what happens in a story. In fairy tales, the plot moves quickly. We don't learn much about Little Red Riding Hood. We don't learn much about her mother or grandmother. Instead, the action begins right away. As Little Red Riding Hood set off, her mother called after her. Stay on the path, she said. Don't stop to play along the way. I'll be careful, the girl said. Tool four. Dialogue is what characters say to each other. Good dialogue helps move the story along. It gives the reader information. Tool five. In fairy tales, characters often get warnings, like the one given here by Little Red Riding Hood's mother. Warnings give the reader clues about what might happen later in the story. Little Red Riding Hood walked deeper and deeper into the woods. After a while, she met a wolf. She didn't know that the wolf was a wicked creature, so she wasn't the least bit scared. Good morning, said the wolf. Where are you off to on this fine day? I'm bringing this basket of cakes and breads to my grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood explained. She is ill, and these treats will give her strength. Tool six. All fairy tales contain magic. That's one of the things that sets them apart from other old stories. Fairy tales can be about witches, giants, trolls, elves, and animals. They can be about kings and queens, princes and princesses. Objects, such as mirrors and clocks, can come to life. And yes, fairy tales can be about fairies, too. Where does your grandmother live? The wolf asked. She lives in a small wooden house farther up the path, Little Red Riding Hood said. The wicked wolf was very hungry. He wanted to eat both the girl and her grandmother for lunch. Quickly, he thought of an evil plan. Tool seven. Fairy tales often have characters who are filled with greed. These characters want something that someone else has, and they will do anything to get it. Here, the wolf wants an extra big lunch. That means there's trouble ahead for Little Red Riding Hood. 
Your grandmother might like some flowers too, the wolf suggested. He pointed to a clearing in the woods. Look at that field. It has flowers of every color. But mother told me to stay on the path and not to stop, Little Red Riding Hood said. Nonsense, the wolf said. It will take just a minute. The flowers will cheer up your grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood nodded. Her feet started edging off the path. Yes, she said. Yes, they will. And she ran to gather flowers for her grandmother. Tool eight. In fairy tales, characters often use tricks to fool each other. Little Red Riding Hood wants to do the right thing, but the wolf gets her thinking about the flowers. She ignores her mother's warnings and runs off to the field. The wolf's plan works perfectly. The evil wolf dashed off to the grandmother's house. He swallowed the poor woman whole. Then he put on her bonnet, got into her bed, and waited. Before long, Little Red Riding Hood came skipping up the path. The front door was open, so she went right in. Hello, grandmother, she called. I brought you a basket of treats and some flowers, too. Tool nine. In many good fairy tales, the reader knows a secret, something the characters don't. Little Red Riding Hood has no idea that the wolf is in her grandmother's bed but you do. Little Red Riding Hood became uneasy when she looked at her grandmother. Grandmother, she said slowly. What big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my child, the wolf said. Grandmother, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my sweet. And grandmother, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with, the wolf snarled. He jumped out of bed and swallowed poor little Red Riding Hood too. Tool 10, the repetition of words or actions gives them more power. Using nearly the same words, Little Red Riding Hood notices the wolf's ears, then eyes, then teeth. The suspense builds. When the wolf jumps out of bed, the little girl is frightened, and so are we. With his stomach filled, the wolf lay back down for a nap. He snored loudly. A hunter passed by. He knew the old woman and was puzzled by the snoring. She couldn't possibly be so loud. He went into the house and found the wolf. He raised his gun. Tool 11. In fairy tales, greedy characters often make mistakes. These mistakes then lead to their downfall. What if the wolf hadn't taken a nap? Then the hunter noticed the wolf's big belly. He put down his gun, took out a pair of scissors, and cut open the wolf's stomach. Out jumped Little Red Riding Hood, and out crawled the old grandmother. The three quickly filled the wolf's stomach with stones and sewed him back up. The wolf awoke and tried to run away, but he was too heavy to move. He fell to the floor, dead. Tool 12. In some fairy tales, problem solving happens through luck or magic. That's what happens in this story. The hunter comes along at just the right time and stops the evil wolf. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother get out of trouble through luck. In other fairy tales, characters get out of trouble on their own. They solve their problem by being brave, strong, or clever. The hunter went home with the dead wolf's skin. 
the grandmother ate her treats and soon became well. And Little Red Riding Hood promised that she would always listen to her mother and stay on the path. The End Tool 13 Fairy tales come to a pleasing end. They sometimes close with, and they lived happily ever after. The reader is left with the idea that nothing bad will happen to those characters ever again.